Um, now, private members' business motion reconfidence in the government. Uh, I'm calling Deputy Pierce Doherty uh, to move the motion. Uh, there's 40 minutes in this slot. Uh, Deputy Doherty sharing with deputies Quiven O'Quailan, Sean Crow, Michael Kilreavy, Sandra McClellan, Martin Ferris, Michael Healy Ray. <laughs> Deputy Doherty. Um, I formally move the motion, and I must say it's disappointing that no senior minister is here to hear this motion. The motion tabled by Sinn Féin tonight is very simple. It says that this House has no confidence in the government because Fine Gael and Labour have failed in their obligations to make political decisions and choices that benefit the citizens of this state. And when this government was formed, there was enormous hope and expectation that things were going to be different. But in the months that followed the formation of this coalition, that hope had slowly been dashed. As Fine Gael and Labour started to break election promise after promise and programme for government commitment one after the other, public confidence in the government started to ebb away. And what the government did last Wednesday has opened the floodgates to deep disappointment and burning anger. Today across the state, people of all political persuasions and none have lost confidence in this government. And Sinn Féin's motion tonight is simply an echo of the frustration and disillusionment felt by hundreds of thousands of ordinary people right across this state. It is a reflection of the anger of ordinary people who are asking themselves why Fine Gael and Labour lied to them. Why the parties now in government made pre-election promises on child benefit, on property tax, only to break those promises a few short months after getting into office. And pre-election promises may mean little to politicians like Pat Rabbit or his colleagues in Cabinet, but for voters, they are the reason why they choose one candidate over another, why they choose one party over another. And for almost a week now, my offices in Leinster House and Donegal have been inundated with calls from angry and upset people, not just constituents of mine, but from people right across the state. And some of them want to vent their anger. Some of them want to explain the human impact that this budget will have on their lives. But all of them feel that this government has let them down, has betrayed them. And Budget 2013 marks a total betrayal of the election promises of Fine Gael and Labour government. And I could give countless examples of why TDs from both sides of the House should tonight vote no confidence in this government. But tonight I will just focus on three. The cuts to the CARES respite grant, the cut to child benefit and the family home tax. Last Wednesday, Yaskin Korya, a woman from County Sligo, rang my office. She was in tears. As a blind pensioner who lives alone in a rural area, her telephone and broadband are her lifelines to the outside world. They're not a luxury. They're vital for her to live. And she said, through her tears, that if the cuts to the telephone allowance went ahead, she could not afford her phone or her internet service package. She would be cut off, isolated, and her quality of life destroyed. And this is the human face. It's the human face of what Fine Gael and Labour have done in this budget. Today, earlier on today, I had the great privilege of talking to carers who gathered in the front of Leinster House, calling for a reversal to the respite care grant. All of them remarkable people. Each of them told a different story about how this cut would impact them and how it would impact the people that they care for, the people that they love. And as the protest came to an end, and after many hours of care standing in the bitter cold, I invited a couple of the men to warm themselves and have a cup of tea before they headed home. And one of the women who joined me was Caroline from Dublin, a woman I've never met before in my life. And she told me of her own personal story. Caroline is wheelchair bound. She lives with a debilitating and progressive disease. Yet she's a woman with remarkable strength and courage. And I initially thought that Caroline was the person being cared for. But in fact, Caroline was the carer. She lives alone with her 75-year-old mother who suffers from Parkinson's disease and is a diabetic. Caroline is the person who administers her mother's dialysis each day at home. And she talked about the challenges she had being wheelchair-bound, 
getting her mother in and out of bed each day, washing and showering her and dressing her and all of the other duties that go with it. And when she started telling the story with the kind of humour that only comes from a daughter talking about caring for, for her mother, quickly her eyes welled up and she broke into tears. And she asked the question, why this government valued her so little. And she said, she told me that she hated the way that this government made her feel about herself. Caroline is a 24 hours a day, seven days a week care. Her mother wouldn't be able to function without her support. And every day, that woman has the strength and courage to carry out the countless invisible tasks of a carer so that her mother can live with dignity. And Minister, this is the human face of Budget 2013. This is the real consequences of Fine Gael and Labour's proposal to cut the respite care grant. And for every cut to vital support, there is a story like Caroline's. And that is why, and that is what Fine Gael and Labour are doing to people that you promised to protect. This is a budget that attacks carers, that attacks the sick, that attacks older people, children and families. It is a budget that will increase the financial hardship of families and put into poverty tens of thousands of families across the state. The cuts to child benefits, the cuts to the back to school clothing and footwear allowance, the taxing of maternity benefit are all anti-child measures. During the election campaign, Eamon Gilmore told us all, he told the state that there would be no cuts to child benefit under his watch, that this was a red line issue for the Labour Party. And if any of them bothered to turn up to listen to this here, I wouldn't have to explain to them the difficulties and the impact it will have on children or their families in cutting child benefit, because they know only too well, because it is, that is why they made this a central part, part of their election campaign. And the question has to be asked to the Labour Party. How do you expect those families who are going to be affected by this cut, particularly those who voted for you on the basis of that promise to have any confidence in you? And then there's the family home tax. The government claims it's a property tax, but that simply isn't true. It is a tax on the family home. 170,000 families are in serious mortgage distress. Hundreds of thousands of them are in negative equity. Tens of thousands of people have paid huge stamp duty at the height of the boom. And 1.8 million people have less than 100 euro left at the end of the month after essential bills are paid. And Fine Gael and Labour campaigned on a promise to assist those who are struggling to pay their mortgages to ease their burden. God, no, and what have they done? You have slapped a tax on the family home on top of all of the other stealth taxes and charges contained in this budget. This government could have introduced a wealth tax, making those with most pay most. They could have cut the lavish pay of politicians, of civil servants and of bankers. They could have introduced emergency legislation to claw back the massive pensions that are being given to the bankers and cabinet ministers who wrecked this economy. But no, Fine Gael and Labour choose to hit carers, to hit the sick, children and families. They choose just to behave exactly the way Fianna Fáil did before them. And these are just three reasons why the public has lost confidence in this government. They have lost confidence because you have made a choice to make ordinary people pay for the bad decisions, the failed policies and the stroke politics of Fianna Fáil, the crooked bankers and the developer friends. And that is what Budget 2013 is all about. There is no doubt that Fine Gael and Labour have broken their contract with the people. They have ridden roughshod over their election promises. They have torn to shreds their programme for government commitments and they have destroyed the hopes and aspirations of the entire population. So, Ken Corley, this is the reason that Sinn Féin has tabled this motion of no confidence in this government tonight. Not because you don't have the confidence of our party or support of our party, you never had, but because you have lost the support of the people. And I urge every deputy in this House to support this motion. Come on,